Hi, Luke here with catsandcarp.com, and I'm going to show you my eight favorite catfish baits and walk you through their pros and cons. Over the years, I've been very fortunate to catch a lot of great catfish from bank and from boat, and lakes and from rivers, and I've learned a few things about bait. First off, there's no bait that works good in every situation. Different types of catfish, different types of waters require different types of baits. And while shad may catch much bigger blue catfish than chicken livers, there's a time when you want to use chicken livers and not shad. And when there's a time when hot dogs work better, and there's a time when worms work better, and there's a times when they don't. Now, obviously, there are many catfish baits out there, but to make my top eight, this must be a bait that consistently catches catfish in many different places and many different times of year. I also wanted a bait that works well for different types of catfish, you know, channel catfish, blue catfish, white catfish, flathead, heads, uh, bullheads, whatever. To make the list, a bait must also be easy to find. For instance, cicadas are an awesome channel catfish bait, but I didn't put cicadas on the list because they are not available most of the times of the year. Likewise, live eels are another great catfish bait that didn't make the list because they're only found in certain bodies of water and only a few states allow you to fish with eels. So at any rate, number one on my list of catfish baits is schooling baitfish. When I say schooling baitfish, I'm talking about gizzard shad, threadfin shad, American shad, hickory shad, skipjack, herring, moon eye, golden eye. Large schools of baitfish are a key ingredient in growing large catfish. Almost every body of water that contains trophy-sized catfish also contains large schools of baitfish. And the size and population of the bait are linked to the size of the catfish. So for instance, the James River in Virginia produces insane numbers of trophy catfish. Six to 80 pound catfish are regularly caught and many catfish guides on the James will give you half your money back if they don't catch a 30 pounder or bigger. The James River produces huge numbers of trophy blue catfish because the river contains huge schools of massive gizzard shad as well as hickory shad, American shad, and herring. The gizzard shad on the James River are, are much larger than the average gizzard shad, normally one to three pounds each. Big shad make big catfish. In places where there are lots of schooling baitfish, the catfish start their lives eating anything that they can fit in their mouths. But as the catfish grow, more and more of their diet becomes these schooling baitfish. In many rivers, schooling baitfish make up 90% of the trophy catfish's diet. Large catfish choose locations based on their access to these baitfish. That is what they are looking for. That is what they're feeding on. Fresh caught baitfish produce more trophy catfish than any other catfish bait. Schooling baitfish are also easy to catch in large numbers. Throwing a cast net is the most common way to catch these fish. In some places, gill nets are allowed. Snagging, dip nets, and umbrella nets can also be effective where it's legal. Usually, I can catch all the shad I need for a day in 30 minutes or less. For more information about catching and freezing shad for catfishing, check out this video. Moon eye, golden eye, herring, American shad, and hickory shad will actually bite a hook. Sabiki rigs, small twisty tailed grubs, shad darts are popular lures. Small chunks of worms or crickets under a bobber can work good for moon eye and golden eye. Steve Douglas has a great video demonstrating how to catch moon eye with a bait and a bobber. The biggest downside to these bait fish is that many of them are particularly fragile and are hard to keep alive if you want to use them for live bait. For instance, usually about half your gizzard shad will die in the live well within an hour or two of catching them unless you are extremely careful and have a large, well-oxygenated live well. There are some commercially available additives that you can place in your live well to help try to keep these fish alive a little bit longer. My second favorite bait is spiny bait fish. Now, spiny bait fish are fish that have spiny dorsal fins like bluegill, sunfish, pumpkin seed, white bass, and bullheads. These bait fish are easy to catch. They work as bait in almost any place that has big catfish, and they are all very tough, so they make excellent live bait. These types of live uh, bait fish will catch all four species of catfish. The only difference is their preferred sizes. Um, bigger flatheads like bigger baits, smaller channel catfish and bullheads like little smaller baits. Because live bait is so popular with flathead fishermen, many flathead guides prefer spiny bait fish over the more fragile uh, bait fish like shad or herring. The best way to catch spiny bait fish is with a rod and reel. A little bait under a bobber can get you a ton of bream. Check out this video for information about catching bluegill on Slim Jims and how to keep them alive for catfishing. 
Fish traps like the four-leaf clover trap can also catch a load of bluegill. We also have a great instructional video on how to make your own four-leaf clover trap. The biggest downside to live bait is the prep time in catching it and keeping it alive. And when using live bait, make sure you obey the local laws and catch your bait from the same body of water where you'll be fishing so as to avoid spreading diseases, parasites, or introducing non-native fish. My third most favorite catfish bait are rough fish. Rough fish are non-sports fish that aren't commonly fished for. Carp, goldfish, suckers, quillback, carp suckers, fallfish, chubs, buffalo. These fish make fabulous live bait and they tend to draw in really big flatheads. On average, most of these fish can get pretty big, so you have a range of sizes to choose from. You can use a baby carp that's only four inches long, or you can fish for trophy flatheads with a four pound live carp. However, this variation in sizes can also be a problem. Not only do you have to catch your bait, but you have to catch them in the correct size. If you're fishing for four to five pound channel catfish, you don't want a 10 inch fish. You want something a few inches long. Additionally, these fish tend not to be schooled up or thickly concentrated, so it can take a long time to catch enough bait. I usually need about 12 fish to go night fishing with live bait. It takes me less than 30 minutes to catch 12 shad, but it can take me an entire day to find that many fall fish or baby carp. Rough fish can be caught using rod and reels, cast nets, uh, sign nets, uh, fish traps. In rivers where there are lots of fall fish, I like to use small, uh, soft plastic minnows on an ultralight rod. I find that worms on a, or a sign net can um, uh, work best for suckers. Buffalo and carp can be caught on sweet corn or cast nets. Because these rough fish don't have spines and they are bigger than most bait fish, I think catfish prefer these fish over bluegill or white bass. But because these fish are harder to consistently catch and keep alive, they are not a bait source that most of us can re rely on regularly. My fourth favorite catfish bait is boilies. Boilies are small boiled balls of bait that are used by carp fishermen and European catfishmen. Unlike a lot of American catfish baits, Boilies are not messy and generally non-perishable. Boilies come in all flavors and a variety of sizes. Boilies are so effective that most U.S. carp fishermen have trouble keeping catfish off their hooks long enough to catch a carp. My favorite boilie flavors are crab and crayfish, halibut, and plum. The biggest downside to boilies is their cost, about five to ten dollars for a kilogram bag. You can make your own boilies or buy them online, and I'll include a link in this video's description. Generally, boilies are attached to your hook with a hair rig, a baiting needle, and a bait stop. I have several videos showing how to tie a hair rig and how to attach a boilie. Boilies work incredibly well for channel catfish and small blue catfish and even bullheads, but occasionally they will work for flatheads too. I caught this 53 pound flathead on a single boilie and a chotty rig. My fifth favorite catfish bait is boiled feed corn. Boiled feed corn is great for nice sized channel catfish and small blue catfish. Boiled feed corn is super cheap. I can buy a 50 pound bag of dried feed corn for $12. That 50 pound bag will make about 200 pounds of wet bait. That is a lot of catfish bait. To prepare a feed corn, simply soak it for 12 hours and then boil it until it squishes between your fingers. I then chum piles of feed corn and cast a small number one to number four or hook with two kernels of corn on it and a hair rig also works really well when fishing with feed corn. I catch a lot of carp and catfish with this technique. Some people like to ferment their corn, but I prefer it fresh. Sour wheat is a very similar, very popular chum. Uh, it's basically the same thing where you soak or boil the wheat and ferment it and uh, use it as a chum for catfish. But I prefer the corn because it's cheaper and you can use it as a hook bait as well as a chum. But wheat, wheat or sour wheat really does work well. The biggest downside to this bait is the preparation time to make it, and the fact that it tends not to work well for bullheads or flatheads or large blue catfish. But if you're trying to catch a lot of small uh, blue catfish or some decent channel catfish and you got the time to prepare it, it's a really nice bait. My sixth favorite uh, catfish bait is chicken liver. Chicken liver is classic catfish bait and it works really well on small to medium sized blue catfish and channel catfish. Chicken livers really put out a strong scent trail and they catch a lot of fish. The biggest problem with livers are that they come off the hook so easily. 
Some people prefer rooster liver or beef liver because it's a little bit tougher, though harder to find. You can prevent chicken liver from coming off the hook by using bait bags, surgical gauze, pantyhose, curing the liver, bait thread, or even the egg loop knot. For more information, watch our video on the six best ways to keep liver on your hook. Chicken livers are also extremely perishable. They go rancid really quickly, so if you don't end up using your liver fairly quickly, it ends up getting nasty and you have to throw it out. Some people like to ferment their liver, but my experience has been that this is just a great way to make a huge mess without really improving your bait. My seventh favorite catfish bait is hot dogs. Hot dogs are a really nice channel catfish bait. I, they don't have the mess or the perishability of chicken liver. They also stay on the hook better. However, I don't think hot dogs are as consistently good as chicken liver or many of these other baits that I'm talking about. They tend to catch smaller catfish. I like to cut up my hot dogs into sections and marinate them in jello mix and garlic powder. This toughens them, preserves them, and flavors the hot dog a little bit better. I've got a great little video explaining this and showing how I rig up my uh, hot dog rigs. Number eight on my list is earthworms. Earthworms are a fabulous bait for small catfish. Bullheads love them, small channel catfish love them, but even small blue catfish and flatheads will take an earthworm. But the biggest problem is that all fish love earthworms, so you end up losing a lot of bait to bluegills, trout, bass, perch, really any fish will hit an earthworm, which can be a problem when you're trying to catch a catfish. Paying for your earthworms can also be a big downer, but if you want to learn how to catch your own earthworms, check out some of our videos about catching earthworms with dish soap, walnuts, electricity, or even by grunting. Well, at any rate, I hope this list of my top eight catfish bait gives you some ideas, but I also hope it gets you thinking about mixing up your baiting routine. There is a time and a place for almost every catfish bait, and the trick is to not only use one bait, but to learn when and where to use each of the different baits. And if you want to see more videos from Catfish and Carp's YouTube channel, check out How to Catch Catfish with Boilies and How to Catch Tons of Bluegill with Slim Jims. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe.